Hey everyone, so I'm over at the Skill House, a hacker space in Gainesville, and I am playing with a different version of 3D scanning. This one is using a laser to create a 3D scan of an object. So you can see here we have the object and we have a calibration pattern um, that the program will use to determine exactly where in space it is. Uh, it uses a normal webcam to capture video and it all gets fed into a program called David Laser Scanner. This is the third version of the software. Um, it is pretty expensive, but right now I'm just playing around with the free edition. That has quite a few limitations, but it's good enough to see you know, what kind of results the scanning can get. So you put those calibration patterns in the corner, and then you set up your webcam. And then within the software itself, it has a calibrate option which it will run some of its calibrations and it will line up each of those uh, X's with the dots. And then that way you know that it's calibrated. And then once calibrated, you can put your objects right in the center of the pattern. And now you are ready to scan. So in order to do a scan, you will start the scan and then you will take your line laser. We are just using a uh, laser level picked up at Lowe's and you will start and bring the laser over the object. You can see as I move the laser into view, if I look over here, you can see that David Laser Scanner is going to try to recreate that object by sensing how the laser line deforms as it passes over the object. So you can see now that the laser is going over its head. And if I look in the software, you can see that the head is being recreated. It's not a very high fidelity scan, but it does do a pretty decent job um, when going over using just the laser and a webcam. So let me go over it a few more times and collect a little bit more data. And so this will create a point cloud using the data of the laser. Okay, once your scan has finished, then you can stop the scan. And it's going to show you the results of that single scan. So you can see how one scan doesn't capture a whole lot of data. But what you can do is once you have a little bit scanned, then you can do another scan and you can create a list of individual scans. And once you have that list, then you can go over to their Shape Fusion and this will allow you to align all of those scans into a final object. So you can see here that this is a combination of all 11 scans that I did of this 3D printed Spock head and it has aligned it so that it's created a 3D object just from those laser scans. And in the full version, you'd be able to click the fusion over here. And this is where it's going to do all of its processing. It will try to fill in all the holes and smooth the mesh and do everything you would expect a program like this to do. But that is for the paid version only. The free version doesn't allow you to do that. So you can see here the results of the fusion after it's post-processing. You can see that it smoothed out some of the details and filled in some of the holes like under the neck where we weren't able to scan. And you can see that it did a pretty decent job with scanning such a small object using just laser light. So I just wanted to give a little bit more information on to how each of the scans looked. So the scanner can only detect the very front face of the object. So in order to get a full three-dimensional view of the object, you need to do multiple scans each time turning the object in between. So what you see here are the uh, combination of the scans. You can see as I uh, make each scan visible and each new color, that is a different scan where I've taken, scanned the object, and then rotated Spock a little bit, did another scan, rotated Spock, so you can see here that this is a combination of all 11 scans done through David's laser scanner. And that is how you get the full 360 degree view of the objects. 
You can also see that there are some faces in which the laser was not able to get, such as under the chin and in the eye holes and the nose. What you can do is, in the full version of course, you can click the fuse button and this will do all of the post-processing where it will try to make the object watertight and if you've taken it, um, you can add texture so you can have the webcam take a uh, picture of the object for each rotation and it will put that texture on top of the object but I didn't do it for this one. So you can see here the results of the scan after the fusion. It did a pretty decent job. It's not too high resolution but that also depends on the quality of your webcam and the quality of your laser. We were using a cheap wall laser from Lowe's so a thinner more powerful laser will give you higher resolution. So this is David Laser Scanner using their uh, laser scanning setup. You can also use this software for uh, structured light scanning, but that will be for another time. So that's David Laser Scanner. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching Hoffman Engineering.